Hello everyone, Ryan here. Recently saw a unicorn store. That's right, unicorn store. Stars Brie Larson, Samuel Jackson, uh, Joan Cusack, and Bradley Whitford. And it sucks. No, <laughs> no, no. I just. You know what, it, this is one of those, like, light-hearted comedies that is good to watch uh, when you're in between watching something a little more serious or with a little more depth to it. And uh, although I will say this one, it, it surprised me with its overall message. Uh, I mean, pretty much it's about... Uh, Brie Larson, she plays this failed art student, or rather she flunks out of art school. Uh, so she's this artist and, uh, named Kit. And so she ends up moving back home with her parents. Her parents are played by Joan Cusack and Bradley Whitford. And, um, and you know, she ends up in a rut like a funk and she doesn't know what to do with her life and um which also tell I me mean, by the way the reason that she like flunks out of art school is mostly because her teacher or I guess or one of her professors or whatever uh was this like pretentious well known artist guy and you know just because like he didn't he didn't like the kind of art that she was creating. So he ended up giving her like a lot of, I'm assuming a lot of bad grades, which ultimately led to her last final grade. And that's what, you know, ultimately flunked her out of art school. So. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, and then, yeah, so then eventually she gets like a, temp job, some kind of temporary job through an agency in some kind of office building. It's supposed to be like, I want to say like some kind of ad agency or something. And she does all right, I guess, at that job. But the only reason why she's able to do okay at that job is because she, uh, you know, hides who she really is and just kind of accepts that well for me it came off as like she ultimately accepted that she wasn't going to be this great awesome artist and that she should just give up on all that and you know um which is something that I don't believe in <laughs> like I said before ultimately I, I really liked the overall message in this movie and um but so and then she gets these weird invitations to a, some store, which is just called The Store. <laughs> and eventually she goes to this store and she finds out that it's a unicorn store and it's the proprietor is Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> uh, which, of course, you know, got to have Samuel L. Jackson in a movie like this. <laughs> uh and which I was surprised that, you know, uh, of course, Samuel L. Jackson, he doesn't, I would say, like, he he definitely toned down his his cursing and whatnot to, yeah, <laughs> for this movie. Although he does say the word shit every now and then in this, I want to say, I don't know, maybe no more than a couple times, two or three times. And, uh, Samuel L. Jackson, yeah, he... I felt he did a pretty good job in this. Uh, Brie Larson as well. Um, pretty much the entire cast, I would say. I have nothing bad to say about any of the performances in this. Uh, I will say, yeah, the overall story, like it does come off as uh, a bit childish and whatnot. But, you know, like I said, it's one of those lighthearted comedies. So not really meant to be... Uh, taken too serious 
to seriously. Uh, that's how I felt. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you know. Anyways, uh, she goes to this unicorn store, and then Samuel Jackson tells her that he can get a unicorn for her because she's wanted a unicorn ever since she was a little girl. And that unicorns, they, they're like filled with love and they just love everyone and that they'll love anyone forever, I guess, or forever, however long you need them to love you. And, uh, so then, uh, and then she's given the task of she has to build some kind of stable in which to house the unicorn. And she goes to a hardware store. She meets this guy named Virgil who works there. Virgil helps her build this stable. So she ultimately ends up forging a friendship with Virgil and uh, eventually like a more intimate connection with him. And so, yeah, and I mean, you know, that's the bulk of the movie. I mean, I don't want to give away too many things, but again, like I said, you know, it's, it's, I mean, it's a decent, lighthearted comedy. I liked it. I enjoyed it. And, you know, as far as the the overall message that I took away from it was that, you know, always be yourself. Uh, also, you know, don't give up on your dreams. Don't give up on your passions. And, you know, even even though other people might not understand your passions, your dreams, and they might well, definitely will ridic ridicule you. Got, I got a tongue tied there. Is it, well, yeah, definitely people will ridicule you for following your dreams, your passions. Ultimately, that's no reason to give up on them. So, yeah. And also, too, I guess you could also take away from this uh, that... Each and every one of us needs some kind of magic in our lives, some kind of quote unquote magical moments, <laughs> you know, because otherwise we, we just get lost in the mediocrity, the mendacity of everyday living. And so, yeah, don't be afraid to embrace the magical moments of your life the awesome moments of your life. Because you never know. You, you never know how they're going to change you ultimately. So, yeah. As far as rating goes, you know, I'm going to give it a solid 8 out of 10. Yeah, solid 8 out of 10. Again, yeah, I enjoyed it. Uh, if you're looking to watch a lighthearted comedy with a good message to it, I highly recommend this movie otherwise if you're not into that kind of stuff then i say hey you know there's a very good chance you won't like it <laughs> uh but i'd say there's still be a, at least a small chance you'd still like it so yeah once again i give it eight out of ten i'll do it for my review of unicorn store and as always thanks for watching this thanks for listening don't forget till next time keep it real keep on rocking and peace